Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Wunhee and today's video is all about the new fall trailer update that we was just released by Nintendo this morning. And we're all so excited and crazy, crazy anticipating this fall update. There's a lot of things in there we want to cover. I did notice a lot of details that were not uh, noticed by other people that were uh, that have released their reactions to the video. And I just wanted to point a few more things out in the in the uh, trailer video that you may not have noticed so without any further delay here it is let's do this full screen Ooh. october 31st is halloween yes it is halloween preparations october go to the store buy some candy for 120 bells and look there's the pumpkin starter we can farm pumpkins, all different kinds of pumpkins. It looks like the pumpkins grow randomly, just like I predicted. Good. And these are all the DIYs. There's so many DIYs. Mages dresses, different color skins, and eyes are the same. The eyes are the same, but the color is not. And more DIYs here, more reactions. This is where the reactions are. There's the Sar, Jack, and he looks great. That's Sid, isn't it? That's Lucky, and there's Cleo. I had Cleo before. So I guess you have to give them candies. And there's a Nook Link. This is fantastic. These are the reactions you can have. And there's two extra ones, Scare and Haunt. That's Haunt, those are Scare. And then the background you can see some of the pumpkin head. And that's Franklin and Jingle. Fantastic. All right, now let's break this down. Uh, I think I'll slow down the speed too. Playback speed, 0.25. All right, here we go. Oh, the sound. I better mute it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's scroll through this. Okay, so here, here we have our avatar moving through the graveyard that they had created. So these are the things that you can create, or DIY. And it looks like there is a Halloween arch with little Halloween lights on it. And there's pumpkins, lots of pumpkins. So there's pumpkin lights, little lights. There's the fence, the pumpkin fence that you can put up and you can mix and match with your regular fences. And there are stacked pumpkins, single pumpkins, a pumpkin scarecrow in the background and singular pumpkins like jack-o'-lanterns here and there so yeah that's all i can see so far here and we'll move along and it says it's october 31st is halloween okay now we are here in nook's cranny nook's cranny has oh halloween items here where there used to be the summer seasonal items. So these, the seasonal items are back. It looks like this scarecrow, even though it is a DIY, you can actually purchase it too. And what else is there? Gather candy to prep for Halloween. So you go over to the cabinet and go ahead and purchase the candy, which is 120 bells. And next to it is the pumpkin starter. It looks like it's in a little uh, container, just very much like the um, other crops that you can buy, like the flower seedlings. I wonder if Leaf will have them too. Okay, so here we are. We can make a pumpkin patch or a little farm area. I'm sure a lot of you already have uh, a, a pumpkin par uh, or at least a farming area already made looks great with the barbed wire and it looks like you need to water them. maybe it'll help them grow 
Or maybe it'll help you grow rare pumpkins? Are there going to be rare pumpkins? When I looked at the code, it looked as if the uh, vegetables that, were, that you were able to grow was kind of a random event. So I'm not sure. It doesn't really reveal in the code that I could see that uh, there were rare items or rare, rare, uh, it doesn't reveal that. So I'm assuming it'll be more like flowers where there are hybrids. There's probably the ability to hybridize eventually. So we'll see. And here she is DIY with the flying little mini pumpkins. These pumpkins are so cute. And there we are. That's the DIY for the lantern. And there's a DIY for the scarecrow. And if you look in the back, there's something you can put up on a table that looks to be like a little trick or treat sort of presentation. There's a little bucket full of treats. And I think that's a marshmallow with a straw in it and an ice cream with a little hat, I think. There's a jack-o'-lantern on top of the barrel. And if you look next to the DIY table, you can see the jack-o'-lanterns there. And there's like something next to it. I think that's a hay bale, but that's like a mini one. It's not like the, it's not that like hay bed. It's like it's a, it's like a mini hay bed. So I'm assuming that that is all one piece, or one DIY. So you get the little hay bale and the two pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns. And she's turning it. It's got its own little scarf that waves around in the wind. How pretty. And these are the different colored mage dresses. You've got like white, black, red, orange, green, and purple. These are the uh, regular dresses that you can get. Here's the skin colors. You can be white, green, blue, or purple. And you can change the colors of your eyes to orange, pink, hot pink, orange. And I think those are the, I think there's a little, a few more blues and greens too. So Halloween night will be, ah, 5 p.m. to midnight. So at, on Halloween night at 5 p.m. to midnight, this is the event that you'll be able to do, to participate in. I love how they have Sid and Kiki. And here's Jack. So I'm assuming only on Halloween night is the day you will see him. Jack the Cesar of Halloween makes an appearance. Yes, so that's definitely what's going to happen. I am Jack the Reigning Cesar of Halloween. And there, it looks like you have to scare together with with your villagers and they can scare easily on the sides there and there's lucky trick or treat give me some candy have fun giving out candy and seeing costumes so all your villagers are going to dress up and there you go Cleo is wearing a little cat hat that's a different cat hat from the one that we usually have it's not like a hood, it's like an actual hat. So everyone's got these little devil horns. And there's more. So I'm assuming we give out the candy to all your villagers to get stuff. And Nook Link. This is fantastic. I am so excited about this. Because this is going to absolutely change how you can film at Harvey's Island. Because uh, before... You would always have to set up all your characters to react, make reactions, and then you'd have to cut that out. But this, you don't have to cut anything out. It'll make it a lot more efficient. So you can off screen just 
you know, queue up all your characters to do their reactions. And from what I can see, you can make all your characters do different reactions. Whereas before, you could only make them do all the same reactions, pretty much. And time them different. Now you can time them. This is fantastic. Before, you had to time them all the same. And here we have Franklin and Jingle. Now, Franklin, for those of you who don't know, is uh, originally from the older Animal Crossing games. And he would come to your island uh, afraid, afraid that he was actually the main course for Thanksgiving or Harvest Festival, as they call it. And uh, he would be very scared. He'd be hiding and you'd have to find him. Now, I don't know how they're going to handle that in this game. Being that this is a politically correct era, not that there's anything wrong with that. That's fantastic. This means progression of society, right? <laughs> so Franklin is probably just going to show up as your as a chef. And I think what I, what's going to happen is that he's going to teach you how to cook and to and, and get recipes and things that he'll probably either give you recipes or help you in some way, like maybe teach you how to do it. So then that's how you would uh, be able to cook. And that's my prediction was definitely uh, to equip your kitchens with all the kitchen items that you can. Make sure you have a good, well-equipped kitchen. I don't think it'll be like the previous games. So, uh, seeing that there is farming with the pumpkins, I really, really do believe that uh, cooking will be an actual mechanic in the game rather than having it like the previous games where Franklin had to do all the cooking. No, it won't be like that. Maybe Franklin will visit your house and, and show you the ropes. I don't know. Something like that. As for Jingle, uh, we don't know that much. From what I remember from the uh, New Leaf game, he just showed up and there was an event with him. I can't remember very well what he did, actually. It's been a long time. But I will definitely update all of you when I know uh, more about what he... Oh, I'm going to go back and play New Leaf and, find, and, and have more of a clear idea what, what he did exactly. I forgot completely. Okay. So let's keep this going. Is there anything here that shows anything? Nope, there's just mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms. This is beautiful, actually. Whoever made this, obviously this is at sunset or, or maybe at sunrise. It's just gorgeous. This game is incredible aesthetics. So there you have it. Unfortunately, the one thing that everyone did notice is that um, there's no mention of Brewster. And it's sad because everybody was looking forward to Brewster, including me. Because how fantastic is it that you get to go work for Brewster? and make coffee and things like that for all your villagers and for all the NPCs too. I can't wait, but it's coming. I know it's coming. It's in the code. I, I did a video on uh, where we break down the code and we actually go in and structurally look and I explain to you exactly how the code works. So, it, that, so that it shows where exactly it says and makes sense that Brewster is coming to the museum. That's what it says in the code. Uh, as for the pumpkins and the vegetables and farming, that was also shown in the code as well. Every stage of it is also shown on the code, like how it grows. And it's exactly the same as the flowers. There's the uh, start starting stage, the bud stage, the flowering stage, the blooming stage, and then the full grown stage. It's like four, four steps. And it takes, you know, as you know, with the flowers, it takes a couple of days for the flowers to actually appear. And that's the same for, for the pumpkins and for vegetables or whatever is coming next if we're farming. I believe that those are all things that will lead up to Franklin. Okay, so there you have it. That is the absolute, um, almost frame by frame breakdown of the, of the update. So... For more videos like this, I love analyzing. I love analyzing. It's my favorite thing to do. 
So that's what we do here. We'll break everything down to the absolute minimal details and, ex and explore and discuss and just bring it out for all of you analytical people out there. And I know there's a lot of you. And I know there's a lot of you who are absolutely as crazy about this game as I am. Then, if you are like me, and you like this, then I am the channel for you. So please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.